This is Georgia, a state with a high reptile and amphibian diversity. In fact, out of the entire United States, Georgia and its neighboring states rank highest in native herpetofauna. Naturally, I wanted to check these animals out for myself, so I flew to Savannah. The first animal I found was at home right at the visitor center of the wildlife park I was at. One of the most common reptiles in the southern United States, the green anole can be green or brown. The brown specimen are often confused with a different species, the brown anole. Brown anoles have a shorter snout and more frequent dorsal patterns. Finding a green anole is a good sign for finding other reptiles. I'm currently running because there's a Florida softshell turtle on the road. Unlike the spiny softshell turtle, this species has more bumps on the plastron and lives closer to swamps. The nostrils of this turtle are very long. This helps the turtle snorkel while remaining underwater. I left it on its way and decided not to disturb it. Also on the road, I was able to find this cottonmouth that started slithering as soon as I got close. It's funny to see how the belly scutes of the snake have a hard time gaining traction. This is a great example of how locomotion works in snakes. When hiking a boardwalk trail, I found this southern leopard frog. These guys are quite cool, and sadly, this is the only one I was able to find this trip. Unlike pickerel frogs, this species has more spots and green on the back. Georgia is infamous for their alligators, so naturally I had to find one for myself. It wasn't a challenge and I'll find more later. The American alligator lives in the southeastern United States. It used to be endangered, but luckily populations have fully recovered. Continuing on the trail, I found another green anole. In fact, there were a lot of anoles. They are an arboreal species, which explains why they like the boardwalk railings. Next, I found this pig frog. They are called pig frogs because that is what their call sounds like. This one was quite yellow, but you can tell them apart from other North American frogs by the fact that the webbing on the foot reaches the end of the toes. You can also tell them apart by their pointy nose. Even though I'm heading back to the Airbnb, tomorrow I will continue, so stay tuned for the next video in Georgia.